Good afternoon, Lace Chopper. I'm John. This is Betty Trudor. Welcome to Fights in Tight Spaces, the prologue, to be precise, because uh, this one's so interesting, I decided to check out the demo. So, uh, yeah, basically, what we're looking at here is uh, a deck builder, but with, you know, a bit of grit to it. Because in this one, uh, you're not trying to bring fire back to hell or climb an impossible tower simultaneously across multiple dimensions to defeat a giant heart or whatever the hell was happening in Slay the Spire, there's just you in a room and there's people to punch. So you should punch them and uh, yeah, you know what? I'm in the mood for that today. And we're kicking off our grimy, gritty punching adventure in a bathroom. Marvellous. So, so far, it probably all looks a bit familiar. You got yourself some action points over here. You've got a deck. You've got cards on the bottom. Number in the top right there. The number of action points it uh, costs to utilise. Uh, all looks pretty common, aside from one fun twist, which is, uh, yes, in this game, uh, you're not just politely standing opposite each other, whacking each other in the face. No, uh, no, 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 no. In this game, uh, you're also managing movements. So if I want to do a bit of a move here, this dash card is going to cost me one of my three action points for this turn. After I've attacked, the enemy is going to attack. Just uh, hold Oh, We can see what they're doing. So this guy is going to attack first. He's got a one. This guy is going to attack second. And this is where this gets fun. Because now you have to start thinking about, yes, whether you can make the enemies attack each other. Dodging out of the way can be just as effective as block, though there are block cards. So uh, on some occasions, uh, blocking and countering can be a good idea. On other occasions, you're just going to want to get out of the way. On other, even more exciting badass occasions, uh, you're going to want to trick the enemy into, you know, stabbing, punching, shooting their own friends. So uh, this guy is going to take a swing, but unfortunately, yeah, it's probably uh, not going to work if I'm not standing there. This guy is going to do a push. So uh, going to do a little bit of damage, and if it hits me, I'm going to end up one step further away. So I don't really want that. Instead, uh, I wouldn't mind uh, one of these individuals uh, doing damage uh, to one of the others. So uh, yes, this guy right here, he's going to attack first. He's going to do the most damage. So uh, I would like him uh, to instead uh, be over here. That way, uh, he'll punch his own friend in the face, which just sounds... Uh, that just sounds too hilarious not to do. So I've got myself, here we go, six damage and one push to an adjacent spot. So, uh, oh, uh, now this, this will flip in do. So yeah, if I'm doing it when I'm next to him, it'll do six and one. Or I will advance one stage if he's two steps away so I can do that one from a bit further away. So yeah, you've got uh, action point cost, the range of it, how much damage it does, and then other effects down at the bottom. Now, unfortunately, diagonal moves aren't really much of a thing. So... Uh, Yes, what we're going to do as a starting point, just because this is too badass not to, that's a bit of a waste of a card that's going to be burnt, is uh, step one, emergency move. That's going to get me to over here. So at this point, this guy, yeah, looks like he's going to be able to hit me anyway, because yes, he would be able to just get a bit of a push in from that range. This guy, however, is now not really doing anything. So, okay, next I'm going to do my dash. That's going to cost me an action point, but whatever. And now we're going to do a front kick to this guy. And as a result of that, oh, just look at that. I love the visual style, by the way. I love how it zooms in for every hit. He's now going to attack his own flipping friend, which is just wonderful. Anything else I need to actually do here? That's one-to-one. -one. I should have done that one first. Because then I could have done that one first. Then, ah, no, I couldn't have done. That would have pushed him too far. So on this occasion, not really much I can do. May as well block, to be honest. Don't need to. But, you know, may as well. Then you just end your turn. Then he punches his own flipping friend. And his friend actually aborts his move because there's nobody to attack. Now, I'm a bit trapped in a corner right now. But honestly, that's kind of fine because uh, I've thrown away my old cards. I've got some new ones. So, uh... I've got a push. That's a freebie. Doesn't really do any damage, but it does get somebody out of the way. They might all be doing the um, uh, the same stuff right now. Uh, yes, that's just a punch, and that is a push. Though, uh, I'm not sure I could be pushed into the sink. So much of that does damage get hit a wall or something, but uh, we'll see. What else do we have here? So, uh, move past the target. Okay, now that's what we want to see. So I'm just going to uh, get around the back of this guy. Then we can do six damage up to two tiles away. Not bad at all. Eight and... Uh, okay, well, we're doing the push, obviously. Just shove him. No damage, but he's now going to get punched by his own friend, which is absolutely marvellous. And uh, quick strike. Maintain range, so I do not take a step forward. Uh, but honestly, uh, may as well. 
There we go. So I retreat back to where I was standing. He's down to eight. He's already lost six. He's going to take another five uh, together with a push right there. So uh, he's really looking a little bit on the uh, the weak side. Uh, from here, however, I can't really do anything. So I may as well just block again. End your turn. So once you get into the habit of, you know, what all your attacks do. Oh, you just kicked your friend uh, into a sink. That's, that's just lovely. And more people are now arriving. This guy, however, has got uh, a punch that's going to go to... That's presumably not going to hit me, is it? Okay, maybe he's just uh, covering his friend or whatnot. This guy seems to have... I thought you were going to live, but maybe my maths is just uh, miles off. Also, you may notice I'm now gathering up combos. When you move, you lose combo. Whereas if you're attacking, you gain combo. And some attacks, yes, you're going to be needing a little bit of combo going on. None of these need combo, but this one is gaining bonus damage. Because yes, 12 damage plus 1 for each combo count. So uh, that would be 12 plus 2 for the combo, 14 total. As it says right there, so you didn't do the calculation uh, by yourself. That only hits to range of... Hang on, what range does that have? Yeah, only a range of 1, but there's no wall here. So presumably, I can't do that. Okay, I could slip around the side of... I mean, that's got to be a wall, right? Yes, just slip around the side of here... And now, uh, wall bash again. So, that's got to be good work right there, right? Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Okay, so he's uh, he's a bit dead now. Right, well, that works for me. And yes, I could if I wanted to. Yeah, with two remaining points, I could take a step. Then I could activate a counter. He's only doing six damage to me. With a block of eight, that's worth doing. So, I'm going to deliberately step into uh, danger at this point. End my turn. I block. And then do a badass counter right there. And now the deck gets reshuffled. He's going to try and do the same thing again. But at this point, I think we might just be able to uh, beat the heck out of him. So uh, damage and a push or damage and push. He's down to... Yes, I think at this point, we're just going to start, yes, beating the hell out of people. Marvellous. So I did that nice and fast. As a result of that, I get some money. And uh, obviously, I get a brand new card. So uh, a step, a shove, or a right spin kick. Okay, I want the right spin kick. Obviously, I need combo to use that. But when you start moving the enemies around with attacks, you can start putting them into the path of other enemies. So, obviously that. Then we get a nice map screen. So, restroom number two or... No, let's go for kitchen. That seems a bit bigger. So, nice and simple so far. Obviously, I've got persistent health. Only 40 hit points. It needs to uh, last me through the entire game. Uh, yes. Now, um, this is where things get a bit more difficult. In particular, guns. Gun users. But, 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 you may notice, this guy's aiming over here. So, if this guy were to be the target in the way, if I were just to move out of the way, well, that would be, wouldn't that be marvellous? Sadly, the other gunner is not in line to hit anybody. But, or I could move this gunner. If I could somehow move this gunner to here, that'd be marvellous. So, okay, what have we got that we can do? Aha! There's also a death spot over here. If you can get people out of the arena, then they just auto-die, which is, you know, kind of useful. So how about you just go out of the kitchen and we just assume that's where they were keeping the lava because um, now that's just sort of uh, gone. Now I just need to get out of the way. Uh, what else do I have in terms of uh, movement? Move two in any direction. Okay, so I could use emergency move together with dash to get to uh, here. Then I could attack this guy. Uh, he's doing five. So I could do a quick block. That would mean I was protected uh, together with uh, a front kick. Does a little bit of damage or a quick strike just... And that's eight damage. That's not too bad. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that. So emergency move. Uh, that sadly gets burnt. Dash over to uh, here. Then we're just going to do... Uh, a quick strike to you. Lovely. Then uh, how much health do you have left? You've got 12 right now. Front kick can't do anything. Let's do the block instead. End. And now what should happen is uh, he attacks me but does nothing. You shoot your friend. You do nothing. So you're already down to 10 and sadly the gunner is. Uh, yes, when there's gunners on the field, you might want to try and place yourself in a position where as they try and move to attack you, uh, logically what's going to happen next is they'll end up uh, shooting one of their friends if you just move out of the way, which would be rather useful. Though I could just, you know, push him if I could get into the uh, the right position. Obviously, though, you can't uh, counter bullets. So, uh, fair enough right there. And I currently, yeah, getting around the back of this guy is going to be uh, tricky. So, I can move around the target, but not, like, all the way around. So, uh, okay. What are we going to do here? 
combo finisher. If I can build up a massive flipping combo, then huge amounts of damage. That ends the combo. My right spin kick is uh, not good enough. Then again, hang on. Right spin kick would be... Uh, no, if I could get here, then use that, then even then it wouldn't be good enough to move him over to here, not to here. And I can't stand here. So that's a bit of a shame. A left spin kick would have been better. Right, let's just get out of the way over here by slipping past this guy. That's all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Then we can just do uh, just a little quick kick. We're not going to be able to do too much this turn. Then I could do a counter or the right spin kick. He's on... Oh, he's almost dead. So screw it. Let's do a badass kick and just basically... I think we just snapped his neck. Wow. Okay. Uh, no need to do uh, anything else. And my turn right there. So, okay. Luckily, he didn't decide to shoot his own friend after he stepped forward. Uh, but now he's trying to do uh, something. This is a bit of a tricky situation, though. Because uh, if I take a step forward here, that's going to cause uh, problems. Okay. But I do have... Uh, a long strike where I maintain range. So if I end up by the door, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. What else do we have here? So uh, 4 plus 1 for combo level. That's 7. That's not bad. Uh, you're still at 12, though. I did one bit of damage to uh, you. That'd be pretty good. That could just straight up kill him. How much do you have, by the way? 20. Not bad. But if I take a step, I at that point can't move. Because maintain range. Maintain range. Yeah, 1. So if I take a step forward to attack him, I literally can't get out of the way of the bullet. So I might need to just play this one a bit carefully until I've got the right cards in play. Here we go. He's moved to me, but the gunner can't really do much anymore because the gunner, yeah, if he were to move, he'd just be shooting his friend. So he's just kind of covering the, uh, the exit. So uh, move past the target with a shift. Okay, or a slip to the side. No, we may as well just basically start uh, kicking the hell out of this guy. And that's one and one. That is a long strike two away. Yeah, quick kick number one. Push you backwards. Uh, long strike. We'll do some good stuff right there. Lovely. And you'll be able to uh, apparently do something to me. Can I actually shift behind you? Uh, no. But I could do... No, I can't do a step. Then a shift. So... Uh, do I want to move away? I think where I am is... Okay, that's suggesting kick up to... Ah, kick up to two tiles away. I am going to step backwards. So, uh, we'll just go over to here. Now, he shouldn't be able to do anything to me. He moves forward. Once again, guy doesn't do a thing. Now, we can just start murdering. So, one hammer punch right there. And now, we need to start moving forward as fast as we flipping can. Gunner moves right up to me. Oh, my friend. You have made a bad mistake here. So, uh, I can step, but okay. Right spin kick I could do. So, that's going to do a lovely bit of damage right there. You're down to 10. Lovely. And that has given me just enough to activate the combo finisher. So, you, my friend, are now dead. Lovely. Though, ooh. Should have paid more attention to the bonuses. Needed a five combo if I wanted the money. So that's a bit of a shame. Okay. Throat punch. That sounds badass. Um, already got a hammer fist. Right. Deals full damage, one stun, and you'll turn to face me. All right. We'll be going for that. Over to the alleyway we go. And make sure we understand, you know, what we're uh, going into right now. Keep an eye on your bonus objectives. Otherwise, this could all uh, go to hell nice and fast. This is... Uh, this is very, very small and tight, by the way. Okay, auto attacks. That means they automatically attack the first time a movement or action occurs within their attack range. Right, they're effectively on, like, um, permanent overwatch, but they'll attack friendlies too. Okay, thank you for letting me know, game. I didn't know that was going to be a thing. And uh, on top of that, we have got... Okay, we've got lots of people. All sorts of stuff is now going on. I assume I need to uh, defeat them, uh, collect the briefcase. Okay, so the goal is they need to go down, but the briefcase is uh, important too. Okay, so these two lads, they're the auto attackers. This guy's just a normal. This guy is, uh, he gets himself five block every turn. So, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. How are we going to sort this out? Because now it all starts becoming, you know, a, a bit of a puzzle. Okay, probably best to just slip round this guy. Now I think I am fine. My momentum is going up too. Okay, so uh, yeah, long strike. A wall bash will do a good amount of flipping damage. 
ends the combo though. So may as well do that last. So what we want is uh, one long strike to you, my friend. Uh, that does a little bit of damage. Lovely. That gets me a tiny bit of extra damage uh, right over here. So, oh, blimey, that's... I love how bloody and visceral this game is. It's marvellous. There's the blood right there, by the way. Lovely, lovely, lovely. But yeah, now he turns uh, to face me. Because, you know, I just slammed him into a wall, so he was uh, kind of conceptually aware of that. However, he's only doing a, a short-range punch. So I'm just going to take a step backwards, uh, and now I should uh, be safe. Alright, don't burn the emergency move just yet. But yeah, at this point, things are getting... Uh, trickier. You're moving over here. You're moving over here. You're moving over here. Okay. So, you are going to do a push, but you're you're literally pushing this guy. Are they maybe not? Oh! Are these guys not aligned with each other? Because uh, your security and your bikers. You just don't like the fact that, you know, people are fighting outside your club, which, fair enough, I suppose. Okay. What are we going to do here? I've got a throat punch, but... This guy's now going to attack automatically if he's aware of, like, anything. So's this guy. You're doing... Ah, that's just a push. Okay, so push for four and one. He's down to not much health at this point. Okay, what are we going to do? I could shift around the back of him, which is probably not a bad call. Does that trigger this? Let's find out. No, it does not. Okay, we can do just a quick strike here. Or oh, I kind of wish I had a push just to push this guy over here. So, one quick strike to you. Lovely. You're now going to be in a bit of trouble, aren't you? Because you've now got, like, um, nothing. Then I just need... Uh, I don't want a throat punch to this guy. Then he'll turn to face me. Then again, he'll be stunned. So, he won't be able to do anything. So, that is uh, not nice. He's now stunned uh, for the moment. And I do not have the combo to do the combo finisher. And I can't really move. I've kind of trapped myself in a corner, to be honest. So, block, turning, facing. Okay, everything's under control. In fact, you know what? The best thing I can do right now is just to block up like crazy. That's uh, probably not a bad idea in the slightest. Can I push you, by the way? Because you'll be pushed into your friend. So... I was kind of hoping he'd, you know, be more annoyed by that, but whatever. Did a little bit of damage at least. We could... Uh, I can't slip around anybody right now. Uh, I can do a quick kick, and then I can just go into, uh, yeah, blocks like crazy. So I kind of may as well just kick you uh, back a little bit. And then it's time to just quick block, and then counter. And that's all we're going to do. So you're going to attack me. I'm going to attack back. You're dead. Uh, you're going to attack me. And I'm just going to attack you straight back again, and... Uh, I've lost a tiny bit of health right now. These guys are now coming for me. But this guy has got to be... Oh, oh my friend. You might be a little bit vulnerable to the old wall bash right now. If I could just build up a little bit more. Okay, Hammer Fist is looking already pretty darn good. So, attack. Then he's going to push me back. But, oh, okay, now I'm just being pushed around. That was... That was a mistake. Because, because yes, that was... Okay, I need to... Oh, uh, yes, they've now started attacking like crazy. Uh, this is less good. Still, I can kill you with the wall bash right now. You are now very dead, which is great. He's already done his auto attack for this turn. So, uh, you're going to try and do a four and a push. So, what we're going to do instead is... I can do my emergency move in a minute. I'm just going to attack you push you back a little bit, and then you're now not doing anything. But I may as well just start moving towards the case. If I can get to that, that'd be great. He's going to move over towards me, but now he can't really do anything. And no, I don't think I'm going to have the movement to get to the case. So I kind of just need to kill this guy right now. But, hang on, I need to shift around him. I need to get around him so he can't attack me. So instead, I've kind of given up a lot of stuff here. Okay. Give you the kick, give you uh, the long strike, and is that enough to kill you? Uh, no, not even close. Damn, I've not got the briefcase in time. Still, I should now be able to just wail on him a bit, so I'm sure it's okay. So, one quick strike. Oh, he's going to push me, John. You know what he does. You can't attack him from the front. And then uh, this kick should be enough to uh, get the kill. Okay, so all of that 
All of that went wrong. Pay attention to that guy. A taunt. Forces them to attack immediately. That way they can't attack on their turn. To be honest, the throat punch is hilarious. Oh, good. We've got medical. We kind of needed that. So, uh, remove an injury. Aha! That wasn't a thing I was aware of, but I'm sure it's a thing that exists. So, uh, okay. I can do a bit of healing, but it's getting, uh, you know, expensive. And now we're converging back on the, um, the bar, which looks a bit bigger. I've got most of my health back, though. And now, okay, John, pay more attention. And there's doors over there. Okay, and we... Right, now there's people who have got what appears to be flamethrowers. Okay, that's good. He's, well, he's a welder, officially. So charge up to three tiles and deal ten damage. And he also gains block every turn. Okay, but if I just get out of the way, you shoot your friend. Alright, so that's, that's not bad at all. What I need to do really is, uh, could have done with the, the slip around the side here. Okay. But a quick kick will push this guy. He does have an auto attack. Deals four damage. But if I push him, then his auto attack won't hit me. Right? Because I think that's true. Let's see if that's correct. So if I kick this guy, he's going to try an auto attack back. But he kind of can't anymore because he's not in range. Yes, I was correct. But if I move into that space, then he's going to. So what I should do instead is... I should counter first. Okay. We do a counter. Then we just do a step. That way when he moves to attack me. Oh, but then he'll... He'll push me. Okay. Pushes any target one tile. So then he'll just push me straight back into... Uh, yes, the, um, uh, the gunner. Okay. So what we need to do instead is... We just need to not be in front of this guy because he'll just push me straight back into Death Alley right here. I just need to get the flip out of the way. So, okay. How much health do you have? 20, but I don't have the most uh, attacks right now. Okay, I'm going to do... Do you have an auto attack, by the way? No, you do not have an auto attack. I'm going to take one step. I'm going to do a great big emergency move uh, to get me over to here. And then I'm going to do a quick strike. Which means he shouldn't be able to attack me because he's facing... Yes, he's facing the wrong way. Okay, we're starting to get the hang of this. You shoot your friend. This guy starts coming towards me. And yes, they appear to be... I don't know whether they're really allied or not. That guy's currently not shooting anybody. If I do anything to this guy, there's going to be trouble. Now, he's got 18 health. If I was to block right now, he can't push me because there's a table here. Rather, if he does, it won't do anything. This guy's going to try and do a kick from two away. But yes, I don't really want to be... Okay, what's the order of play here? What's the order of play? Because it looks like this guy, he's going to attack first. So he's going to do, yeah, charge up to three tiles, dealing at ten damage. So, uh, he's going to be doing a lot of damage to uh, this guy. If I could get my, yes, momentum or combo or whatever up just by uh, one level, then I could do my right spin kick to get this guy out of the way. But for that, I'd need something uh, that has a range of two, which unfortunately I do not have. Right, do the block right now. Now do the wall bash to this guy. Okay, so that's going to do a lot of damage. He's going to counter attack. But my block should be able to... Uh, yes, my block eats that. The problem I've got here is yeah, he's going to die right now. So don't need to worry about his attack because he's attacking uh, third. All right. That guy's going to hopefully uh, kill this guy uh, first. The problem I've got then is uh, this guy. And I can't... I can push this guy. All I've got is a slip in terms of movement. But I can't move to... Uh, I'm about to take a bit of damage because I can't really stop this guy doing anything. So six damage, one push. Also, keep an eye how much damage it does if you're pushed into a wall. Because I should be taking only four damage because I've got two block. But I am being pushed into a wall, which I assume is bad. Then again, have you already done your auto attack? Uh, yes, you have. If I slip to here, then, John, don't slip. Onto the space where the person's going to shoot. Okay, just accept this. 
So uh, he does that. And then... Ah! This guy doesn't attack because he was never planning to attack because I wasn't there. Okay, this is all this is all a bit problematic. Okay, everything's fine because you're apparently planning to shoot this guy anyway, which is nice of you. I could shift around the back of you. Now that's got to be a good starting point right there. And that's a good throat punch you. Yeah, you're definitely going over here. Okay. Combo finisher, definitely can't do that. Shift, then I've got myself, uh, yeah, a bit of maintaining range. I don't have much I can do right now, and that's just a quick block. I'm gonna be honest, I pressed that button by accident. We're just gonna do a little bit of, uh, throat punching and whatnot right here. Should've done that one second, I would've actually done more damage there than a throat punch. He tends to face me, but he's... Okay, he seems pretty dead anyway, so I'm sure we're a-okay. And uh, that guy does not take the shot. Okay, now you're coming to me, and you are planning to shoot this turn. You're presumably not planning to do anything, because yes, your friends are in the way. Okay, 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 okay. I do have a, a long strike right now. I've got nothing that benefits from... Uh, that's a push. So, uh, six damage, uh, and then one push. If I could just get you back two spaces, you're out of here. So, what are we going to do here? I do have a, a front kick. Okay, that's a push. I've got no other push, unfortunately. What do I have that does damage? Not a huge amount. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to dash towards this guy. Because if I just throat punch him, he's going to be stunned. So we do that first. There we go. He now can't do anything for the time being. And we're going to move him towards the exit. And hopefully he's still going to be... Yes, he's still stunned. So he can't shoot anymore. Those guys aren't going to do anything. You're going to try and do something. And now we're a little bit on the, um, the surrounded side. Okay. You've not got much health left. What's the order of uh, fire here? You definitely would like to maybe uh, attack me. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Quick kick. That's got a push on it. Okay, that's not bad. Shift is uh, move past the target. Oh, well. Well, 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 well. This all seems to be uh, working to me. Hang on, you're going to... Uh... If you don't attack me, then... Oh, blimey. If I shift past... Yeah, around the back of this guy then just push him, and you don't attack, then I might be better off not doing that. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to do a shift around the back of this guy. We're not going to combo finish. Instead, uh, we're going to quick kick him, and uh, he's still going to be alive uh, for the time being, uh, which is great. And then... Uh, just in case this guy kills this guy before this guy fires, I might just want to counter just for safety. We'll, um, we'll see how that goes. So, darn it. He actually did attack that guy. Okay, I've lost, um, I've lost a little bit of health there. And now the toughest guys are now still in play. But they are now close by to the doors, which is kind of good. So, uh, move around to target, gain momentum, uh, quick block. Okay, kind of a bit worried about uh, all of this, actually, because I don't have a huge amount of ways of uh, getting out of the uh, the line of fire. They've all now got, well, sort of range, uh, and I don't. Yeah, I've got to let that guy come to me. I just have to step out of the way uh, and sort of uh, hope that we get a better attack next time. No, they're just... They're maintaining a distance. This is uh, a concern. So I need to get close enough, really to get my throat punch in. And I can't really do that without obliming. This is why you don't bring fist to a flamethrower fight. Okay, step towards them, except we're going to get a hit, and instead just try and desperately heal up as best we can. All of my attacks only have a range of one, which is a shame. He's coming in. We're able to block most of that. I'm kind of... Oh, obviously now you've decided to step around the side. Well, that's just, that's just you being a dick. Okay, but... This guy wants to get an attack in. Is that the slip we need? No, that is not getting around the side at all. Okay. I've got a slip. 
I've got a dash. I could use that to get... How are we going to get... Okay, well, I could push you towards this guy. You're attacking first, but I don't think you will if... Actually, maybe you will. No, he can't do a physical attack if there's no one to attack, but the gunner will do an attack if there's someone to shoot. So, if I slip to here, then just push you, that's going to do a little bit of good damage. But before we do that, we may as well just throat punch this guy, because I can slip and then push without too much in the way of uh, trouble. So, then you need to also... Screw it, I'm just going to punch this guy in the throat because I feel like it. So, uh, he was able to... Uh, block like all of that. Okay, never mind. How about we just slip around the side of you and now we're going to give you a push. All right, that's good. He's now facing in the wrong direction and I probably want to be moving as close as possible to these guys so they don't get away from me. So he shoots his friend right over there. You're trying to gain distance on me, understandably, but what I can do is have I got any moves right now? I've got move to or move past the target. Okay. Uh, what are we going to do about this? I've got Hammer Fist. You've only got 10 health. So I need to find a way to do 10 damage to you and then move. Now, Long Strike and Hammer Fist both look like they'll be able to do the job. Then I just do a shift. Okay, we're fine. So 4 plus 1 per combo level. Long Strike does not do... Any form of push. Uh, you guys don't have an auto attack, right? No. No, you don't. So, one long strike. Okay, lovely. Maintain range. One hammer fist that just got even more powerful, which is marvellous. Up to three. And now, we just take two steps forward. Get out the way. And he won't do anything. Because his is like, well, kind of a melee attack anyway. And now he's not doing a thing. Okay. This is, this is all fine. So, uh, shift to uh, here. He's not facing this way right now. I've lost all of my combo. But now, now I can start doing uh, some flipping kicking. Though that is, yeah, that's a one. That pushes him in that direction. Okay, 49 health. We're now going to do a front kick. So, uh, this should do six damage. But let's see how much extra damage he takes from the whole wall situation. So, he should be on 43. No, he's still on 43. Okay. Just hold right there. We've kind of got him cornered now. So this kind of works for me. So uh, long strike. There's the throat punch. Okay. So anything else we can do that we need to build up the combos with? Uh, not really. We may as well just, uh, yeah, long strike you. Just going to start doing that damage. Throat punch you uh, right over here. Screw you. You're now not thrilled about life. Uh, we may as well push you into a wall. That's going to do like something, right? You're on 41 right now. If we just push you into a wall, what does it do? That does full damage. Okay, end the turn. He can't do a thing. And now we start wailing on him. But more importantly, now we've built up a bit of a combo. So uh, 37, but with an extra 8 too. Do I have a slip? I do have a slip. So I can now get around the side of him at the end. What do we need to do though. So that is a 4 plus 1 per combo level. If I can do that last, that'd be great. So uh, Wall Bash ends my combo, but does tons of damage. I'd probably rather do uh, step 1, Hammer Fist. Okay, that does a good bit of damage right there. That just penetrates his armor. Then we're going to slip round over to uh, you. Uh, and then we just move over to here. That's all absolutely fine. And I get myself, yeah, an action point back for that too. So, uh, okay. Now I could do a right spin kick. So that's six damage and pushes targets to uh, the right. I feel like we should do the... Yes, the wall bash first. No, not the wall bash first. Okay, one quick strike. Start doing some damage. We need to really focus on this guy. And uh, this does a huge amount of damage, but target will turn to face attacker. He's not currently stunned. Screw it. Let's just start moving him forward. Badass as flip right there. And I've still got 10 million flipping combo going on. So uh, we can do some good stuff. You are now right on me. 30 points in total. And uh, there's the combo finisher. I think we can do this right now. Hit him with the throat punch. That should hopefully get through all of his stuff right now. That's now up to 26, literally just the right amount. 
And down you go, you stupid bastard. Didn't do it quite fast enough, but what can you do? Okay, discard a random card, move up to three tiles, panic dash. Alright, stun dart. Apply six damage and one stun. Minimum range of two, but there's a long range as well. Or separate. Push enemies one tile in opposite direction and deal four damage. Okay, that one sounds fun. We're just going to have that one. Right, alleyway or an event? Well, obviously we're doing an event and... Right, we've gone to the shark aquarium. Excellent. So, uh, you swim to the island only to find yourself surrounded by sharks. I feel like... 80% lose health, 20% gain enhancement. Maybe we don't punch the shark. So, uh, you arrange a passable peace with the sharks, they give you safe passage to the island. I mean, to be honest, negotiating with sharks is a more impressive skill than shark punching anyway. I feel like we need to go to uh, medical right now, to be honest. That seems like, oh, I don't have that much money. I can do a tiny, tiny bit of healing, but now I'm not gaining new cards. So, this is precisely what you want to not do. Right, can we punch some more sharks right now? And... Uh, Okay, do I steal a motorcycle and follow a gang member fleeing? Yes, yeah, 75% out of card, and I have picked up a card. Tackle. Marvellous. So that is... What have we got here? Push an enemy, knock down, apply for damage. That sounds pretty good, actually. Yes. Right, over to uh, the parking garage. Let's see what's going on here, because uh, this one looks a little bit bigger. Than some of them. Not much, because, you know, the game is uh, fights in tight spaces. So you're never going to be expecting uh, too much, but what can you do, eh? Right, so, we have got Captain Auto Attack. You, my friend, are... Oh, there's a fair few of them. Okay, that's a thug. So, uh, a punch, but it's eight. Alright, then we have got a biker. He is blocking automatically. There is a chunk right here. So, uh, Gives allies four block at the start of every turn. Ooh, that's... That's nasty. Everybody's got block. Like crazy. And this guy's gaining his own block too. And this gunner is currently... Yes, he's got a gun. But I was never in line. So therefore, he's not planning to attack this turn. Okay, that's how you know. Because this guy wasn't planning to attack. Because he never had a shot at me in the first place. Okay. But on the plus side... No one's got an auto attack, right? No, nobody's got an auto attack. I'm just a bit worried about um, uh, the blocky lads. Probably best we try and take out the uh, the thug. And yeah, uh, my special ability, by the way, is I gain that emergency move. So that's tied to my character. I assume you'll be able to unlock uh, more versions uh, in the end game. So, okay. What have we got, Takes? I've got some advanced cards I can't really uh, do much with uh, just yet. You're planning to do eight. So if I could move... Uh, Either of these guys, uh, like, you know, in the right location, that'd be magnificent. But I feel like I can't really get around the back of them. Because uh, Step's not going to do uh, well enough. That is, uh, that's short range. Okay, I feel like what we do is we do a tiny bit of damage here. Then again, hang on. What does this one do? Push back the enemy, knock down, apply for damage. Alright, so... We kind of may as well do that, really. Let's just see how that works. So, uh, we just slap him down. And now I'm sort of... Okay, so that does move me uh, one step forward. But now I've crossed this guy's line of sight. He wants to actually, you know, uh, attack. Uh, which is a problem, because I can't... Apparently, I can step here. This guy is just sort of dead. Uh, so, okay. What do I want to do uh, at this point? I mean, I'd love uh, to do... Uh, the right spin kick. Can I still do that? Because it costs me... If I take the step, I lose the combo. So, uh, if I take the step, I could do the emergency move. If I do the emergency move, then I could do a quick strike to the... Okay, hang on. Let's see if I can make this work. So, now we quick strike. Right. Okay, little quick strike right there. Now we do the yes, right spin kick. And now, you... Get booted into the line of fire. Oh, it turns out I'm a genius at this game. There we go. The chomp gets shot. Takes a bit of damage. Now people are coming over here. And uh, okay, this is good. This is actually pretty positive. So the situation right now is uh, the gunner intends uh, to fire. So he will fire at this guy. The chomp is... Uh, he is also 
intending to fire. He does a big sweep. But yeah, he's going to attack... Oh, he's going to attack everybody around him. Okay. This slip seems like the best thing we can do. So, okay. Not sure that was 100% where I was thinking you were going to end up. But uh, I guess I'll take it. So, uh, with a throat punch, this guy will not be moved. Okay, that's all absolutely fine. Let's do a throat punch to you. And he blocks, but he's still been, you know, punched in the throat. So he's still going to be shot. He's at 25 right now. No one is going to... Then again, how much damage do you uh, do? You do You do 12 damage. So I shouldn't counter, because I'll take 4 damage even after that point. Uh, because, yeah, if I had one more action point, I could at that point do a counter dash block. No, leave it. He gets shot, takes a fair whack of damage... That guy finally gets up. Okay, so knocked down. He doesn't count for anything for the minute. This guy is not planning to attack at the moment. I have got a good amount of combo starting to be built up here. This guy is not thrilled for now. This guy is not looking great. This guy is going to do... Yeah, he's going to do a great big roundhouse attack. And he's going to do it this turn. If I could push you back, then that's the right play. That's it right there. You go back a stage. And now this guy is, I believe, going to roundhouse kick all of his friends. That means I just need you to not be here anymore. That's going to maybe be a bit on the uh, the tricky side. I could just shift away, just get a bit of distance. But can I actually kill this guy? I've got two action points, long strike and hammer fist. To be honest, yes, I can just kill this guy right now. So, one punch, right there, then a hammer fist. There we go, you should... I forgot that he had block up because of the chonk. Okay, I'm about to get punched, uh, that's going to hurt a little bit. And then, you're going to hurt your friends, uh, right there, but I think they actually had the armor to take it, so that's unfortunate. The chonk is now... Is the chonk doing anything? Okay, the chonk is now going to do a big attack, right there, 5 times 12 uh, did that hurt this guy? I don't know. Okay. This guy's now got himself, yeah, seven health total. And this guy is now coming in for the punch too. I've only got 11 health, which is uh, not great. The gunner is not currently uh, planning uh, to shoot. If I wall bash, I can basically kill... Uh, I can basically kill anyone of my choosing. So, uh, a wall bash here. Then... A quick kick here is not going to kill this guy. But I could just take out this guy right now. Assuming there's... There's no wall. There's no wall, right? No. You don't have a wall, unfortunately. So, uh, I can't wall bash you because there's no wall. I mean, you know, story checks out. That's fair. I don't really want to waste the, um, uh, the wall bash on this guy. I'm kind of lacking in... Uh, what are you doing, by the way? That's a short punch. Push you back. There's nothing much you can... Uh, do. I can shield up, but I don't have counter available. I might just have to back away on this occasion. Just going to push you back a little bit. Alright, just get you out of the way, please. Get you out of the way. I'm just going to take a step over here, just to move myself out of harm's way. I'm a little concerned by all of this. And he kills his own friend. Well done. That's very impressive of you. And now you are going to... Yes, you've shielded up your friends. And you're not currently planning to attack, I assume. If I kill this guy, however, and I'm not sure whether me having a wall next to me is uh, good enough. He's actually got a lot of health right now. Okay, if I can wall bash him, I can't. I need a flipping wall, damn it. And if I do a tackle, that's going to cause trouble. Because, yes, I don't have any other way of moving this turn. So, actually, no, I've got one dash. I could tackle... And then dash. That way you will presumably attack the gunner. Right? Hopefully might be the case. Do you want to do that? The tackle into the dash. Yeah, you know what? Do it. And I need to complete the level fast. So I need to be a bit aggressive, damn it. Now we're going to do the dash right over here. And you should fire. Because I was briefly in line of sight, right? End turn. And he gets up straight away. All right, you now move in. You are planning to fire. All right, now I'm a bit... Oh, I'm a bit cornered right now. You've got 20 health. You are currently not happy with life. You are going to do 
a great big sweep. And also you're a heavy, so you can't be downed. You've still got 30 health and oh dear, this is... Might have got myself into a little bit of a difficult situation. I could push this guy out of the way. Could I... Oh, I could move past him. Oh. Well, now we're getting somewhere. Yes. Right. Round the back of the heavy. Screw you. And now I need to do is a front kick. Boom. Though I could just start doing... I've got two. So probably what I want is a front kick then long strike. Yeah. So front kick. He now ends up uh, where the gunner is pointing. And long strike for a bit of damage right there. Just keep that combo rising up to eight. That's good. And he gets shot down to eight damage. That's good. And you are not in a good position to shoot right now. So you're not going to try and do anything. Okay. I do have a good amount of damage I can do. That is a total of 16. If I was to do right spin kick, that would push these two into each other. I don't, unfortunately, have many attacks right now. I need to complete this in two turns and I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay. We're going to do a hammer fist because, oh hang on, are you planning to attack right now? You probably are, which is a bit of a shame. Right, that's a good amount of damage. Okay, and then does this actually use any action points, by the way, or does it just spend combo? Because if I do this to you, then okay, that just spends, no, it doesn't Okay, I think it's just you need a certain amount of combo. Right. Um, then what I need to do is step and push. Except you're not shooting right now. But you might hit him, ideally. So we're going to, yes, yeah, step and then push. So to here. To here. And as you were planning to attack, hopefully you will. Blocks, you may as well. End the turn and, oh my, you just shot your friend. Complete level in one. And combo finisher. Oh, my friend. Oh, my flipping friend. Out you go. There's my money. Good. Good, good, good. So I get an advanced card and... Uh, ooh. Okay. If the combo's over five, gain three combo. Right. So I just get even more combo. Combo counter. So two damage plus two damage for every combo level. Oh, my. Well, that's nice. Or get over here. Force characters to move. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, you know what? Get over here. That works for me. So, kitchen, bar, or event. Well, what have we not seen yet? There's a gym over here beyond uh, an event and... Oh dear, that looks like that looks like a final boss. I don't like the sound of a final boss. Right, let's do a gym. We haven't done one of them, so we'll go through uh, the kitchen. I should have gone to medical, really, shouldn't I? So, the kitchen's good, because the kitchen's got... Ooh. Okay, so we've got loads of people, two gunners, two of you lads who may or may not have the auto attacks. Sometimes you guys have got auto attacks. So, uh, yes, he's an auto attacker. You're also an auto attacker. And then we have got gunners times uh, many. And they're kind of, oh, that's good coverage. Ooh, two gunners acting kind of like, you know, two castles and chests. That's, uh, oh dear, that's going to be, uh, that's going to be a problem. I need to get past this guy to get behind him. So, how do we do that? Because I've got... I can do a shift into a... No, I can't. Oh, dear. Um, I may have just walked into a bit of a bad kitchen here. I've got my emergency move. I can do my emergency move into a shift to get around the back of this guy. And then I could start doing... Yeah, I could start hitting him with a uh, quick kick and long strike, which is uh, probably the best I've got. It's a shame to burn this so early in the... Um, hang on, there's... No, hang on, no, no, that was... Just, just slightly, slightly clicking the wrong buttons. It's fine, it's all going to work out because that one's free. Uh, so now, now we want to do a quick kick into uh, the long strike. So, uh, just move you in that direction. Long strike you. No one's gaining shield, which is good. And I can't push anyone. Okay, everything's fine. And now... Okay, please tell me I can get out of here. Because now you idiots are about to shoot each other, aren't you? I think you flipping are. Right, so uh, you're going to do some damage. You're going to do some damage. I'm just going to step out of here. Oh, this is... This is badass as flip. 
Okay, I need to collect the briefcase, ideally. I do not want to throat punch this guy. That would be a bad call. This guy will not die, however. So, I can do a bit of damage to him. So, the right spin kick would be... That'd be fine. Pushing to my right means he just moves one step further forward. To be honest, that's okay. So, just one quick little kick right over there. No, not kick. Punch. The other one. Okay. They're now just going to be best friends with each other. And, oh, flip me. Right. Well, you just shot each other. I love it. Um, In a perfect world, I need to get over to that briefcase and uh, get over here. Can I force you to move, like, that much closer? I don't know. The problem is they're now a bit too far away. I wouldn't mind doing the... Uh, I don't think I can get to the briefcase anyway. So the point is kind of moot. Then again, I wouldn't mind being in a bit of a open space here. How does separate work, by the way? So uh, push enemies one time in opposite directions. Okay, so if you're surrounded, uh, you can just separate them. But I'm losing combo by doing this, unfortunately. Can I force you over? And uh, one and two. And he immediately pushes me. Oh, John, you fool. Um... Okay, he's now planning to do a push, which would actually kill me. So, thank God I've got a flipping front kick here. Um, this would end my combo, but it would do 14 damage. Oh, John, what have you done? Um, can we wall bash him? Is there a wall here? There is officially a wall here. That's nice. Uh, so he's lost some stuff. And John, that was your... That was your last action. John... John, that was that was the last action you you had. So that was Oh dear. I think I'm about to be pushed to death by a security guard, which for like, you know, James Bond or Jason Bourne or John Wick or whoever I'm supposed to be, that's just an embarrassing ending. Yeah, I literally got pushed over a dishwasher to my death. So uh, that's just sad. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the prologue and or demo of Fights in Tight Spaces. It is free right now. Link in the description below. So you can just play this. Like, I think it's like the um, the first mission, if you like. So if it's going to go to the mission select screen. Yeah, I assume you could do, like, basic training and then uh, this first mission. Then there's, like, you know, four much more difficult missions once you've got your deck in slightly better shape. And, uh, yeah, those are going to be locked to uh, the main game. Still, I will say that is... Uh, that's good. I like a generous demo where you actually get, like, you know, to properly dig into the game, which this is. I love a good generous demo. It's a fun game. It's easy to get your head around. It is bloody and visceral, and obviously things are getting uh, complicated very, very fast indeed. So uh, we will see this again when the full version comes out. Might well skip straight to a live stream, to be honest, as, uh, yeah, kind of like deck builders. They work really nicely in the live stream format. So, uh, we will see this again. You can play this right now for free. Can't complain about that. And yeah, I'll keep an eye on uh, the full release, which I believe is coming at some point in early 2021. I do not know when precisely, but hopefully whenever that is, you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fights in Tight Spaces. Thank you very much and goodbye. No, sadly, I cannot be the Santa Claus of murder tonight. So apparently, even though this thing is... Oh, no, no, you can't. No, you most certainly can't. Okay. Is that the symbol meaning I'm about to pull her over? Yep, there we are. There we... Oh! I feel like she didn't necessarily survive that. No, she's very dead.